Nikon is once again making waves in the camera industry with rumors of a cutting-edge mirrorless camera, the Nikon ZX. If the speculation holds true, this could be Nikon's first consumer-oriented camera to feature a global shutter sensor, putting it in direct competition with flagship models like the Sony A9 III. Given Nikon's strategic approach to high-end mirrorless technology in recent years, the ZX could be a significant leap forward in terms of speed, precision, and usability. But how much truth is there to these reports? And what could this camera mean for professional photographers? One of the biggest talking points surrounding the Nikon ZX is its expected sensor. Nikon has historically relied on Sony for its imaging sensors, and Sony's recent foray into global shutter technology with the A9 III suggests that Nikon could be leveraging a similar sensor or a customized variant. If true, this would give the Nikon ZX a significant advantage in fast action photography, eliminating rolling shutter distortions and enhancing motion capture capabilities. Early reports suggest the camera may feature a 20.4 megapixel sensor, seemingly a step down from other flagship models in terms of resolution, but with an astonishing readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds. Such speeds would enable near instantaneous capture, crucial for professional sports and wildlife photographers who demand absolute precision. The potential introduction of a global shutter in the Nikon ZX represents a major shift in camera technology. Unlike conventional sensors, which read image data line by line, a global shutter captures the entire frame simultaneously. This eliminates the rolling shutter effect, which often distorts fast-moving subjects, making the ZX particularly well-suited for high-speed environments. Additionally, the camera is rumored to support flash synchronization speeds of up to 1 12th of a thousandth of a second, allowing photographers to capture ultra-fast moments with perfect lighting accuracy. This would be a game-changer for sports, wildlife, and event photographers who need impeccable image quality in unpredictable conditions. While Nikon has yet to officially confirm the ZX's existence, reports indicate that the company has been developing prototype versions featuring a box-style design. These early iterations are said to be restricted to lab environments, with no hands-on experience from professional photographers just yet. However, a key piece of information suggests that over 50 professional Nikon photographers will receive pre-production units for testing in early 2026. This aligns with Nikon's typical strategy of gathering real-world feedback before a full-scale launch, adding credibility to the idea that the ZX is more than just a speculative rumor. If this testing timeline holds, structured leaks and first-hand reports could emerge in early 2026, giving enthusiasts a clearer picture of what to expect. Another interesting aspect of the Nikon ZX's rumored development is the connection to a previously speculated model, the Nikon Z9H. Back in 2023, there were discussions about Nikon working on a high-speed global shutter camera under the Z9H moniker. Given Nikon's history of using H designations for speed-oriented cameras, such as the D1H, which prioritized burst shooting, it's possible that the Z9H was an early prototype of what is now being referred to, to as the Nikon ZX. If this is the case, Nikon may have been refining the technology for some time, waiting for costs to decrease before bringing a global shutter to the market at a more competitive price point. Price will be a crucial factor in the Nikon ZX's success. Sony's A93 debuted at $6,000, making it a specialized tool rather than a mainstream offering. Nikon has historically positioned its high-end mirrorless cameras at price points that undercut those of Canon and Sony while delivering comparable or superior performance. The Nikon Z9 and Z8 are prime examples, offering flagship-level capabilities at more accessible prices. If Nikon follows this strategy with the ZX, we could see a high-performance global shutter camera at a cost that makes it more appealing to a broader audience. However, global shutter technology remains expensive, so it's unlikely that Nikon will price this model too aggressively below its competitors. Under the hood, reports suggest that the Nikon ZX could feature a dual Xpeed 7 processor setup.
While Nikon has already introduced the Xpeed 8 processor in some newer models, the decision to use Xpeed 7 chips might be aimed at optimizing performance and managing heat dissipation. High-speed processing generates significant heat, and effective thermal management will be critical in maintaining performance without compromising reliability. A dual processor configuration could also enhance the camera's ability to handle rapid burst shooting, which will be a key feature if Nikon is targeting the sports and action photography market. From a broader perspective, the introduction of the Nikon ZX could signal a new phase in mirrorless camera technology. Nikon has been particularly aggressive in its recent releases, demonstrating a commitment to innovation and market competition. The Z9 redefined Nikon's place in the flagship mirrorless segment, and the ZX could further establish Nikon as a leader in cutting-edge imaging technology. If the rumors prove accurate, the ZX's combination of speed, accuracy, and advanced sensor technology could set a new benchmark for professional cameras. Yet, as with all unconfirmed reports, doubt is warranted. The camera industry is no stranger to speculation, and many rumored models never come to fruition. However, the consistency of reports surrounding the Nikon ZX, combined with Nikon's history of surprising the market, makes this a rumor worth watching. With the Z9 approaching its fourth anniversary, the timing for a next-generation flagship model seems appropriate. If Nikon has indeed been refining global shutter technology for years, the ZX could be a logical step forward rather than an unrealistic leap. The next few years will be critical for Nikon as it navigates an increasingly competitive, high-end, mirrorless market. With Canon and Sony pushing the boundaries of sensor technology, Nikon needs to continue innovating to maintain its foothold among professionals. A global shutter-equipped camera could be just the tool Nikon needs to stand out. If the ZX name sticks, it could become a defining product in Nikon's lineup, much like the Z9 was upon its release. Ultimately, whether the camera ends up being called the Nikon ZDX, Z9H, or something entirely different, what truly matters is its real-world performance and how it stacks up against the competition. A high-speed, global, shutter-equipped Nikon mirrorless camera has the potential to reshape expectations for what's possible in professional photography. While we await official confirmation, all signs point to Nikon preparing something significant. If the company delivers on the expectations surrounding this rumored camera, the Nikon ZX could be a landmark release, setting a new standard for speed and precision in the mirrorless era. What do you think? Share with us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.